У нас как бы этом, скорее всего. So this is this will be for the win here for the fourth pin. Morozov barely holding on like a centimeter away from the pad there. So guys, Saplenkov is back in Russia and he's training with David Dadakian, the guy who went against Morozov, if you don't remember that, on the left arm at King of the Table. And he ended up losing by forfeit and went all the rounds, but he wasn't able to continue. And that match was an absolute war. But in this video on True Power, he's sparring with Dennis on the right arm. Now, they only pulled on the right arm in this video that was recorded. And he's very explosive, but you'll see that Dennis's static strength is just incredible. And this is basically how it went for all the polls that were recorded in this video was that David was very explosive. He would have a good hit, but once Dennis stopped it, he would be able to catch it in the hand and then go to the pad slowly with static strength. So he said that David is just starting his preparation now. Me, as an arm wrestler, I'm preparing year-round. I don't know what they mean by preparation. I guess just that there's a match coming up, so I guess they're, you know, gearing in more, whatever that means. You know, if that means they're taking more pancakes or they're just they're taking their training more seriously. But um, David had said in this video that he wants to compete at, in June or July. <laughs> Man, just imagine having Denis Saplankov as your training partner. Like, that's got to be amazing to get stronger. <laughs> Especially since he just holds you most of the time. So you're able to work your, your static strength and try and get through his lock, which is what I imagine training, Devin, training with Devin a lot is like because... Again, he just holds you, so you're able to strengthen your your static strength and try and go through that, which would be amazing as a to have as a training partner. So once again, there there are a lot of pulls between these guys, but they all basically went the same way. It was just David with a decent hit, but not being able to pin, and then Dennis's static strength kicking in, him attacking the pronator. You'll see right here. Ready to go. Here he kind of started slowly, but. Once Dennis gets that stop and isolates your hand and is able to pronate through your wrist and get you palm under, the guy is so strong. Like his wrist and his pronation is no joke. But the thing is, if he's going to face Levon, I think he's got to be very explosive as well because he's not going to be able to just stonewall Levon center table considering how much static strength he has in my opinion. So David is very explosive, but he doesn't like the endurance matches as much as we saw when he faced Morozov. He got dragged into an endurance match once Morozov was able to stop him. So Dennis looks like he's trying a little bit more. That was a good hit by David, but Dennis still in control here, able to hit the hand, able to pronate, rise. Use his wrist, start smiling at, at David now. He knows it's it's comfortable. But David putting up a good fight here actually holding holding Dennis, which is pretty surprising, especially considering he's at the beginning of his preparation. Holy shit, look at the forearms on him. Look at those forearms. Unbelievable. Arm wrestlers are no joke. Arm wrestlers, forearm day every day. So 
что как сколько у меня силы хватит на so they said he's trying to gain weight and he wants like like three months to prepare to pull in June or July who do you guys think would be a good match for for David uh on the left potentially could be someone like I don't know if he's ready for someone like Vitali but he's he's very impressive like if we watch his match versus Morozov his explosiveness against Morozov again Morozov is a guy who's beat Gasparini on the left a guy who's beat Tobias on the left a guy who's super strong on the left here we go got to turn it out Referee getting them set turn out wrist but David's explosiveness oh. is no, Boom, gets there. Inside. Oh my oh goodness, my that God. is a pin. David Dedekian. Wow. So explosive is David. That was round one. But like I said, once he gets in an endurance match, it's not as ideal for him. He likes to pin quickly and explosively. There was an, another quick pin, but it's a little bit slower. Let's go to the third round. David with a top roll in that round to call the win. So he's up 3-0. Morozov unable to stop him. He's up 3-0, but the match is not over. That's why I like the king of the table format. Here's round four here. So this is this would be for the win here, for the fourth pin. Morozov barely holding on like a centimeter away from the pad there. Somehow able to stop David, and then David starts to gas out a little bit. Barely though, he's still. This is still an absolute war. I mean, you see Morozov just—they're both redlining here, trying to get an advantage. Morozov transitioning out into the hand of David, and then finally able to apply that side pressure with these surges. But David is so shoulder committed. You see him—he's always has his shoulder committed. But Morozov able to win that one, so. That's the start of the comeback between these guys. Oh, they called a foul on that one, so they had to go again. Then Morozov won. And then we'll go to rounds. We'll go to round five here. Round five, David started losing his wrist. So Morozov able to transition. And then uh, this is the sixth round. Let's go to the start here. So he lost his wrist almost immediately. He looks almost gassed out. Morozov has more endurance. So and then David wasn't able to continue. So Morozov awarded the win for that one. So basically we know David is a guy who's super explosive. And if you can't stop him, then you're not going to win because he's just going to go right to the pad every single time. And that's interesting that he's looking to gain weight and compete in June or July. I'm wondering who a good opponent is for him. Let me know in the comments who do you think David should face in his next match because it's going to be exciting. The guy's a monster. He's already at 117 or 118 kilograms based on this video that was uploaded today, which is like 260 or so, around 260. Um, so we'll see if he's going to get even bigger, 270, 280. He would be absolutely lethal. I imagine this is a guy who's, again, super young. So he's only going to be climbing the ranks in arm wrestling. So who do you guys want to see him against? I'm out.